Hello and welcome to this session on how to create first Selenium test in Write. And uh, in this session, we are going to see how do we create a project in Write. We will also see how can we import Selenium libraries in robot framework. We will add the browser drivers and then finally we will create our first Selenium test. We will run it and we will see the reports. Uh, I will also keep on telling you some useful tips that will be very helpful for you. And in case if you have not seen the last session, it was about getting started with robot framework from scratch and we have seen how to set up robot framework. So you can go and watch that session in case you have not watched it. And let us go with our today's session on how to create first Selenium test. And to save some time, I have already added some notes. So the first step is you have to open write. So you can open write uh, by just uh, running the command write.py. So I will go to my command prompt. And here I will say write.py and just hit enter and it should open your uh, UI for write. And uh, we have already seen how to install write in our earlier session. Also, you can go to your C and go to your Python folder and you can go to scripts and you can see we have write.py here and the reason I can open it from any location is because I have added this location which is python 27 scripts in the path environment variable and we have seen this in our last session also you can do one thing you can also uh, put a desktop shortcut so I will just go to this write.py and I will say send to desktop and create shortcut and you can see it has come here so even if i now close right so let me just close this and close this and you can see right is not here i will double click here and you can see right is now started so this is how you can open right and you can also create a desktop shortcut and let us very quickly see the ui of right so this is very simple and intuitive UI you have some menu options file to create a new project open some projects and save you have edit to uh, add some tags uh, tags and then uh, some normal edit options like redo undo etc in tools you can run and stop test cases you can search for some keywords or some test cases you can also manage plugins from here you can also go to preferences and here you can uh, make some change in the text editors and so on. So like this you can uh, make some changes here and then you have other options like uh, Navigate macros in help you can go to the user guide You can also go to about and see what is the version of ride you are having and so on. So now we have ride and Here we have you know some uh, very commonly used uh, controls like go back go forward open uh, save and search and then play and stop the test case So let us go to our next step Which is we have to create a new project a new test suite and a new test case. So what I'm going to do is go to file and Say new project and Here you can name your project whatever name you want to give to it and Also, you can create it as a file or as a directory So in case you want to create a directory click here and then you have to provide the location here. So what I'm going to do here is I already have created a folder for robot in my system. I will copy this location and provide it here. And then I will name my project as project one and say, okay. So here is my project. And now I will again do a right click and add a new test suite. And here I will name it as uh, test suite one and again say OK. And inside our test suite, we can now do a right click and add a new test case. So I will add a new test case and give the name as test one and say OK. And you can see we have got our new test case here. And here is the editor where I can create a test case. Okay, so we have added a new project, a new test suite and a new test case in our ride editor. Now we have to create a Selenium test case. So what we have to do is we have to add the Selenium library. 
So for adding the Selenium library, let us go to our browser and let us go to robot framework website and I am going to robotframework.org. So this is the website for robot framework and here you will find this option for libraries. So go here and here we have standard external and other. So Selenium is an external library and here you will find this Selenium library. You can also get Selenium 2, uh, 2 library, but uh, that is a older version. So let us go to Selenium library here. So it will take you to a GitHub page where this Selenium library is maintained. And if you go down, you will find the commands to install Selenium library. So here is the command to install Selenium library with Python. So I will just copy this and go to my command prompt and just paste it. I think this is not copied. Let me copy this again from here. I will copy it and then go to my command prompt and just paste it here. So it's copied two times. Yeah, so now this is fine. So pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade robot framework hyphen selenium library and hit enter. So it will download the selenium library and then install it. So now selenium library is installed. You can also cross check by going to your uh, folder. So let me go to my Python folder. Uh, so in Python 27, you can see, yes, I have selenium folder here. And in fact, if I go to scripts or if I go to uh, lip, let me just find where it should go. So site packages. Yes, again, I can see Selenium here. So you can find it here. And then now we have our Selenium library. So now in the project, we have to import, which is step number five. We have to import the Selenium library in our project. So let us go to our write again, the UI of write. And I'm going to the project. And in the project, you will find this option for adding the library. Click here. And here I can just say, Selenium library and say OK. So you can see the Selenium library is here. And now I will go to the test suite and I have to again do the same thing, add the library inside my test suite. So again, I will go to add import library and I will say Selenium library and say OK. And now you can see this has come in a black color. So that means this is successfully imported. In case it is not able to import it successfully, it will show in red color. So let me show you an example. I will again try to import Selenium to library. And because I do not have it, if I say OK, you can see this is in red color, right? So I will delete it for now. And I just want Selenium library. So we have done this step number five, which is adding the library for Selenium. Now step number six is we can start writing our test case in the test case editor. So I will go to test case and here now I can start writing the Selenium keywords. So one thing you can do is you can start typing Selenium and uh, you can press control plus spacebar on your keyboard and you should see this auto suggestion for all the actions and keywords of Selenium. Okay, and it also gives you all the necessary information how you can use some particular action or keyword. So for example, if I want to use Selenium library and open browser, so it gives us the option. You can just click and it has already uh, filled the entire option for us. Also, you can again press control space bar and it shows you all the necessary information on how to use it. So you can see this open browser and you will see how to use it. What are the browsers you can use with this command and exactly how you can use this as an example. So you can say open browser, give the 
link or the URL and then you can give the browser name. So you, you can give Chrome and also for Chrome, you can use Google Chrome, Chrome or GC, any of this should work. And the other thing is, it's not necessary to give Selenium library every time as an uh, prefix. You can just leave this and only say open browser. Even that should work. So you can see even open browser works. And here you can just say open browser. Here you can give the uh, any link. So for example, uh, let us open uh, this robot framework URL. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here as the URL. Okay. And I want to open this in, let us say, Chrome browser. So I will say Chrome. And now our test case is created. So now what I can do is I can go to this run tab and here I can click on the start button to run my test case. So I will say start and save. And now you can see there is an error and it says Chrome driver executable needs to be in path. Okay. So what this means is uh, because we are using a Selenium library, we need to give the driver for the browser that we are going to use. Even for Firefox, we need to give an external browser driver. So for that, what we have to do is you have to add the browser drivers. So we have done step number seven, which is add keywords and run. And because our test has failed, we have to add the browser drivers. So let us do this. Let us go to our command. Uh, let us go to our browser and go to a Selenium website, which is seleniumhq.org and go to download section. And here, if you go down and if you uh, go down and you, you will find this third party drivers and here you have all the drivers. So you have Mozilla Geeko driver for Firefox. We have Google Chrome driver. We have Microsoft Edge driver. So here we need a Google Chrome driver. So let me just take the latest version, which is 2.33 as of now. And here I will download it for Windows. So you can download it for your operating system. I am downloading it for Windows. And this should start the download for Chrome driver and yes. And let me go to the downloads folder. Uh, so I will open this here. It's in my download section. So I will just extract it. I will unzip this and once this is unzipped, I should get my Chrome driver.exe. So what I will do is I will uh, cut it from here or I will delete it from here and I need to add this into my Python folder. So I will go to my Python and you can either uh, paste it in your uh, Python 27 or even you can go to Python scripts and just paste it. The reason I am uh, pasting it here is because now it will be available everywhere on this system because we have already added this path Python scripts in our uh, environment variables path. So I can show you again. I will just go to right click on this PC on my computer and go to properties and go to advanced system settings and go to environment variables. And here you will find an environment variable by the name path. And I will just go to edit and you can see here I have added uh, this particular location in my environment variable path and because this is added here all the libraries all the programs which are added on this particular location will be available uh, across the system so now I can use it anywhere from anywhere I can call this so I'll just close this and now I have added the browser drivers so now I can run my test again so uh, this is a very simple test which is opening the browser and going to robotframework.org and doing it on a Chrome browser. So I will just go again to the run section 
and also you can see the last time it failed so it is showing a cross sign here in red the next time if it passes it should show a green sign here so i will go here and say start so this has started this should open a chrome browser and yes and it should go to robotframework.org and it does that and of course because we have not used close browser it will not close this so let me just close this manually and you can see everything is passed it shows us a log and also here is a link to go to the report and logs so i will click on the report so it opens a very good nice looking report in a browser it shows us all the information you can see the summary here of the test the status the start time the end time the elapsed time and then we have a log file link as well also you can see the statistics here of how many test cases ran what passed what failed and all the other details and you can also go to the log file from directly from here uh, this link here so i'll click it at, and it opens the log file here you can see the details so you can see the test suite details the test case details and then also the keyword details so it shows us all the finer details of our test case of our execution what was the browser used what was the time for every, each and every step and everything also you can now uh, again do a close browser so you can say close and hit control space bar so it will uh, give you all the options i just need to close my browser so that's it i will save it and then go to run and run it again so this time it should open the browser go to robotframework.org and then close the browser so it goes to robotframework.org and then it closes the browser and we have everything here which is running fine so this is how you can create your first test case and also if you go to your test case here you have a option for settings if you go here you can see you can give some documentation so you can give some details about your test case you can uh, you know write some uh, details and description about your test case and then we have a setup so in case you want to run some scripts or some actions before this test case you can add it here in case you want to run some actions after the test case you can add it in tear down in the next session we will see exactly how to do that so this was all about how do we get started with writing our first selenium test case in ride i hope you liked it thank you so much for watching